We present GIFT, a method for learning generalizable, interaction-aware functional tool affordances without labels. This tool can be used to drive in a peg. This one can be used to reach into a constrained space. And this one can be used to hook and pull an out-of-reach object. In fact, each of these tools can be used in multiple ways. We present a framework for discovering ways of using tools, which we call tool affordances, from interaction experience with procedurally generated tools across three tasks, hooking, reaching, and hammering. To do this, we extract contact data from sampled trajectories and use it to train an affordance model that can predict grasp and interaction points from RGBD observations of novel tools. Discovering realizable action possibilities is a hard problem because the space of possible actions is so large. Previous methods work around this issue by using human labels, which are expensive and can introduce human biases, or by constraining the space of possible manipulations with motion primitives or an optimization problem under predefined constraints. The problem with this is that limiting the actions we try naturally limits the action possibilities we can discover, so limiting manipulation limits affordance discovery. In contrast, GIFT does not rely on labels or a constrained action space. We gather experience using a simple sampling-based motion planner, which is conditioned on a choice of key points through a reward function that encodes task success and encourages use of the chosen points. The planner samples actions from the full action space. It is free to use tools in unexpected ways, discovering new affordances that could not have been explored with a more constrained approach. Since we do not rely on human labels or predefined motion primitives, we avoid incorporating human bias. Our representation emerges only from the constraints of the task. Our method proceeds in three stages. First, we collect experience to learn from. Next, we extract training examples from the sample trajectories. And finally, we train our affordance model. To collect experience, we sample a tool from our training set, place it on a table, and capture an RGBD observation of the tool from above. From this observation, our sparse KP network infers a set of key points representing the tool's geometry and providing possible choices of regions to grasp and interact with. This module is pre-trained using unsupervised key point losses and is shared across tasks. A grasp key point and provisional interaction key point are uniformly sampled from the sparse ones. We take a crop of the RGBD observation around the grasp key point and pass it to a grasping network to infer a nearby stable grasp. This grasp is executed before we generate the rest of the trajectory with MPPI. MPPI iteratively samples action sequences from the full action space and takes their average weighted by reward. We use this reward to encode task success and encourage use of the selected key points. This lets us condition the motion on predicted key points while still sampling actions from the full, unconstrained action space. Once we have a trajectory, we extract a training example. This consists of a reward, grasp key point, interaction key point, and the full set of sparse key points they were selected from. We replace the provisional choice of interaction point with the key point closest to the actual first contact between the tool and the target object. Finally, to train affordance prediction, we sample a training example and build a graph out of its sparse key points. This graph is fed to a task-specific GNN, which predicts a distribution over pairs of key point indices, that is, the joint distribution over grasp and interaction key points. Finally, we update the GNN weights using reinforce with the reward from the sampled trajectory. Quantitatively, GIFT beats algorithmic baselines on all three tasks and approaches the performance of a human oracle on two of three. Qualitatively, when we inspect rollouts using the predicted grasp and interaction key points, we can see that the predictions usually match task semantics. For instance, when hammering, low grass points increase leverage, providing greater strike point velocity and peg impulse for a given joint velocity, whereas strike points on the hard metallic head allow accumulated kinetic energy to be rapidly transferred to the peg for maximum impulse. We've presented GIFT, a framework for tool affordance learning that discovers affordances from interaction experience and uses vision to generalize the discovered affordances to new tools. It does this without relying on human labels, which can be expensive and introduce bias, or predefined motion primitives that limit affordance discovery. Instead, we gather experience with a sampling-based motion planner conditioned on predicted key points through its reward function. In this way, we can use the full action space, so avoid limiting affordance discovery, and avoid incorporating human bias ensuring our representation emerges only from task constraints. In future, we hope to extend this line of work with richer representations that encode additional properties beyond key point locations to enable finer-grained reasoning about the relationship between material properties, detailed local geometry, and task requirements. Thank you.